And this video is brought to you by our new merch store. It's kind of weird making an ad for myself, but whatever, it's free, right? We have our new t-shirt rolled out. You can purchase it right now. It doesn't matter where you live in the world, uh, as long as it's able to be delivered to you. You shouldn't have any problem with it. We do charge 11 bucks for international shipping, which I think is pretty good for a t-shirt, uh, and five bucks domestic that's here in the US. But I want to say that we don't make really anything on the t-shirt itself. So the t-shirts are priced at like 15 bucks, and through our supplier, we're really making like 50 cents, I think. That's our cut. So we're not in this to make money. We just want people to enjoy wearing the shirts and supporting the channel. So click the link in the video description tied to our website, science.studio, and then forward slash merch there so you can buy yourself your very own Science Studio t-shirt. So I've had quite the day building in the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 White Edition. Now, up front, just want to be very clear about this. Yes, they are sponsoring this build. Uh, the purpose of this build is to make the case look awesome and for the case to make the components look awesome. So we're doing a CES white winter themed build here because why not? It's December and then the north, that's winter. So uh, every component for the most part will be white. It's kind of the thing. Uh, if you're getting tired of the white builds, whatever. Okay, just look at some of these builds up here. They're red and blue and whatnot. Uh, but white, I always like to go back to because you can shine any LED color you want at a white surface and it will pretty much take up the uh, the color that you're, that you're going for with those LEDs. So it's really nice to have that kind of mix up there. Now I do want to say this is a full size tower here. It's got all the nooks and crannies seen ads for this case in the past uh, and I do think it's a really nice case I don't think it's for everybody very big um, you're probably not going to use most of the space in here unless you have either a a ton of hard disk drives or B a custom loop inside and we're going with the latter for this build uh, that will be featured in the be quiet booth at CES 2018 I'm really excited about this my first build ever to be shown off anywhere so hopefully it looks awesome I want to talk hardware and yes, I've recycled quite a bit of what you're about to see in this video from past builds, in fact, past custom loop builds. Because we do so many of them on the channel, you can check out these videos up here, they'll pop up every now and then, link to other custom loops we've done here in Science Studio. Uh, because I do so many of them, it's difficult to ask vendors over and over again, hey, can you send new components? You know, this stuff isn't cheap and that's why it's more or less like a, a niche market at this point. It is growing and that's awesome to see because people get to be very individualistic when it comes to their PC builds but it's not a cheap hobby by any means. So it's it's not easy for me to go out there and buy all the components myself over and over and over. And the manufacturers, not that I blame them, don't want to keep sending new stuff for every single build. So I do end up recycling quite a bit. So what you're looking at here is the MSI X299 Tomahawk board. This is an Arctic edition board. So it does have a white PCB and much of this actually blends in perfectly with the case color. White is a very difficult color to match perfectly. There's different shades of white, believe it or not. Some are more blue tinted, some are a bit more neutral or maybe yellow uh, and that's just the, the the nature of white i mean you really won't know until you put them next to each other so yes the pcb itself is slightly bluer than the case but the white accents on the motherboard blend in with the case perfectly so it's definitely a camouflage of sorts now the graphics card i'm going with because this is really only a show build i'm just going with a single gtx 1070 with a thermal take water block on it again it's not like it doesn't really make sense to pair a thousand dollar processor with like a three or four hundred dollar graphics card but it's going to look pretty sweet when it's oriented sideways here thanks to this Cooler Master vertical graphics card riser and I think that uh, I'm going to paint this white. Yep, there we go. Painted white now and uh, it's all just going to blend in. I don't want any black component in the case, at least that's visible no, and that's kind of the whole theme here. It's supposed to be a winter theme build so it all needs to look snow white. Speaking of which, if you know anything at all about the Dark Base Pro 900, you're probably wondering what this basement PSU shroud cover thing is doing here. This is from V1 Tech. Hassan makes these. He actually made one to spec for me. I just reached out to him and said, hey man, I need something for the Dark Base Pro 900. I know you make PSU shroud covers specifically for this case. What can you do for me? I have a white edition. It's going to be a little more difficult to, to kind of line up color wise. He was like, not a problem. Boom. Next day overnighted it. There it is. I mean, it's it looks so good in the case and it matches perfectly to uh, not only the color scheme, but also to the cutouts and indentions in the case. This guy's like, he's got this down to an art. So if you need any sort of customization at all, I do recommend you check out his channel. I did tell him I give him a bit of a shout out here in exchange for the PSU shroud, but I mean, I would do it anyway. Like if I was just a casual builder and I wanted something to make my case look just a bit different than the average consumer case, I would go first to V1 Tech. Check out his link, by the way, in the video description. The next two things I want to show you were painted by yours truly. 
I'm just kidding, they were actually painted by Chris from Be Quiet. He decided to paint a power supply for this build way in advance, like three months ago, in preparation for this build to be uh, showcased in the Be Quiet suite in Caesar's Palace at CES, but also these white Silent Wings 3 fans. These look so good in white, and I wish that they offered these fans in white just on the market. I think they would sell like hotcakes. Nonetheless, you gotta paint them yourselves now. It's not too big an issue because this is more or less a show build, uh, but be careful if you're gonna paint your fans, make sure you apply the paint evenly. You're gonna add weight to the fins so that might mess up the bearings in the long run. The fan might be louder, it might break sooner. It's, it's kind of a slippery slope, but for all purposes here, I think they look excellent. Now, while looking at this case, you might be wondering, okay, where does he plan to put the radiators? What kind of runs is he expecting to get finished here? He's got a lot of space to work with, so we gotta fill it up, right? We don't want any empty space. This is a huge case that we can do a lot of really cool stuff. So I think I'm gonna have an individual pump, like separate from the reservoir. The reservoir is gonna be mounted to the radiator. In the front, we're only gonna have one 360 mil rad, which should be okay for a single CPU GPU array. Uh, and the radiator I'm going to be using is a white premature radiator that I've used in this video right here. I could go ahead and just ask for another white radiator to be sent, but I already have one that's white. And frankly, waiting for you know a month almost to get these components from manufacturers is because I'm not actually paying them. They're just sending me one to be cool, you know, to have the product showcase on the channel. It takes a long time. I, I'm just too impatient for that. So I already have the stuff I want to use. I got to tear down my AeroCool P7C1 build to get to the radiator, but. So be it, we'll work with something else in the future. But I've saved what I believe to be the best for last. My good friend Tony from the YouTube channel Virility PC Customs decided to take it upon himself to create some super sweet white custom cables for the channel. There's a piece of hair floating. Where did this come from? Look, the guy's done this like three or four times for us here at Science Studio, and I'm so appreciative of that. I actually know him on a personal level. I met him in St. Louis for an Intel LAN fest. Uh, and we exchange ideas all the time just on the DL like you know just showing off our builds and whatnot The guy's got a lot of passion a lot of heart You'll see that on his YouTube channel by the way um, And I also encourage you to follow him on Twitter and elsewhere just to see what kind of stuff he's working on in the background But he's made these cables and they look so so good in this build I think that's the icing on the cake right like you've, you've got to have a nice custom cable kit for a custom PC build, especially a custom loop build. It just looks strange to have the stock PSU cables running into your motherboard and your graphics card and the like. So I believe that's it. I wanna say a huge thank you to all of those who got the build to where it is today. Be quiet for sponsoring the entire series. Uh, Hassan from V1 Tech for the PSU Shroud and Tony as well for those sexy custom sleeved cables. I'm really looking forward to finishing this. We got the radiators, the tubing, the fittings, and the pump to install next, and then we should have a finished product. We'll probably do one more video where we benchmark it, just kind of see what you get with an X299 CPU and a GTX 1070 that is water cooled. Maybe an overclocking guide or something along those lines. If you are ready for CES, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thumbs down for, I don't know, if you want to be a party pooper, that's cool. Be sure to click that red subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for more content like this, including part two of this build series, the winter themed CES build. This is Science Studio. Thanks for building with us.